Welcome back to The Pulse. We got Cynthia Moore with us. She's running for Nevada State District uh, Assembly 11. Uh, welcome to The Pulse. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. No, thanks for coming, uh, taking the time. Um, before we jump into the questions, um, if you can tell us a little about yourself, please. Yeah, Your certainly. A little bit about myself. I'm Cynthia Moore. Uh, my family, like so many families in Nevada, immigrated here from a different country. They came here from Mexico when I was just a baby. Um, we originally moved to California. That's where my parents thought they could achieve the American dream. For sure. But they quickly realized that that was not going to be a possibility and they moved here to Las Vegas. Uh, my mom also had family in Las Vegas who were working in construction and this was early 1990. Um, and we moved here to Las Vegas when I was eight years old. Uh, so we've been here since I was a little kid and um, we moved around everywhere here in Las Vegas. I went to four different elementary schools, oh, but we moved into Assembly District 11 uh, when I was just 10 years old. Uh, we moved to the apartments right by Rancho High School and eventually my parents were able to save up enough money to buy their own home and they liked the neighborhood so much that they wanted to stay in the area and they bought a house um, just a few blocks away from from the apartments where we were living and that's where we my family has lived there for a little bit over 30 years that's where I have lived um, and my brother was born in the district now I get to raise my son in the district as well Thank you. No, thanks for sharing that. Um, since I know you're very familiar with the area, if you can kind of tell us, tell our viewers uh, where District 11 is, like landmark wise. Yeah. So if District 11 is a very uh, unique district, I it covers parts of downtown Las Vegas, um, primarily uh, Fremont Street, uh, the Container Park. It covers a little bit of the Arts District north of Charleston. Um, it also has Symphony Park, uh, which I like going to to watch some of the plays that they have there. Uh, that's where the district ends, but then it goes all the way down to Charleston and Lamb, and it covers a little bit of North Las Vegas as well. Oh, um, so it's area. quite, it's, it's spread out everywhere. Right? Yeah, it's spread out. Uh, there's about 72,000 people that live in the district. What issues in uh, Nevada concern you the most? And. Uh, you can tell us about that please yeah certainly um i knock on doors every single day and i've been doing so since march just because i i know what issues are important to me but it was important for me to hear directly from people that i hope to represent in carson city yeah. the number one issue that they always bring up is housing the district is a majority renter district over 70 percent of the people in assembly district 11 are renters and that's one of the biggest issues is that they're not able to buy a house, uh, which is one of the American dreams that a lot of people have is to be able to build um, generational wealth that way for their families and they're mm -hmm. unable to do so because of the high cost of rent. Um, that's one of the issues. The other one is also the economy as well as the district is made up of young people. The median age is 30 years old. So when I'm talking to a young person, someone in their 20s or someone that's turned 18 or 19, they bring up climate change as well as reproductive rights as one of their biggest issues. I understand. Now, um, I can relate to that too, you know, with when it comes to housing, I hear that from a lot of people, locals here too. Mm -hmm. And um, what is, uh, when it comes to other, you know, you mentioned about housing, you mentioned about uh, the reproductive rights what kind of bills do would you like to see in the you know in the coming legislature yeah one of the things that i have found as i'm knocking on doors is that people have been living in the same house for over two three even five years or ten years and they're doing a month-to-month -month lease and by doing a month-to-month -month lease their landlord is increasing their rent every few months because Correct. they don't have that annual uh, lease yeah. that prevents them from doing that and also they feel that because they have a month-to-month -month lease they don't have any protections they can't push back when their landlord doesn't want to fix their AC because they don't have that contract okay. uh, so I want to work uh, with our state and our state legislature to make sure that we're 
uh, providing protections for people that do have a month-to-month -month lease um, and preventing from you know having a landlord Them being evicted. Yeah, yeah getting evicted just because they really want their AC to be fixed especially when we're hitting 120 degrees during the summertime the other thing is last legislative session I was very involved with Senate Bill 427 which would have created protections for outdoor and indoor workers exposed to extreme heat and poor air quality. Um, I know that OSHA currently is working through the regulatory process to provide protections for people exposed to extreme heat, but they're not working on the air quality piece. And that's also important because as we're seeing more um, wildfires and also, I mean, just here in Las Vegas alone. Temperatures are already yeah. ridiculously high. Yeah, and also we get a lot of smoke from the wildfires in California. California. I wanna make sure that people are able to do their jobs safely uh, and they're able to go home to their family members. So certainly I want to work on the air quality piece at the state level since OSHA is already working at the um, regulatory level to provide those protections. And then the other thing that's very important to me is I'm a huge supporter of question six, which is the reproductive um, amendment that would go into effect if everybody else votes for it. I'm a huge supporter of reproductive rights. No, thank you. Um, I can tell you, you're very genuinely compassionate for the uh, Nevada residents in terms of uh, you know housing. And like you mentioned about uh, the indoor outdoor mm -hmm. challenges too so um, we're short on time but uh, if there's anything you would like to share with our viewers I just want to remind people I know every campaign every election year we say this this year it's a very important year mm -hmm. uh, go out and vote but this year there's a lot at stake um, for all of us not just here in Nevada but for the rest of the country if you are a citizen, please go out and vote. And for those of us that are citizens, um, it is up to us to make sure that we vote even for our family members that may not be able to do so. We are their voice. Um, and we certainly should go out and vote. On, if you did an early vote, you have Tuesday where you can still go vote in person and you can go to any voting location in the city. Thank you. We will leave it at that. Uh, Cynthia Moore, candidate for Nevada's Assembly, District 11. Thank you for taking us uh, time to speak with us today and um, good luck on the race. Thank you.